So now we will check the part 2 of the drop impinging onto the heated plate. So I'm just on the fluid model. So this is a transient approach. So we need to activate the transient approach and we need to give the gravity direction on the bottom. So I'm just activating the transient and gravity is in minus 9.81. It is in the down direction. And then go to the models, activate the multi-phase model. And here I'm selecting VOF approach. And after that, just activate the species also. Apply. Okay. Close this. Go to the materials tab. Create edit. Go to fluid database. Go to fluid. I'm just copying these two. Copy. Close. Close. And again, go to the materials tab. Created it, go to film database, material type, mixture. Select anything, uh, maybe it is for our, we will modify the things again. Just copy, close, close. So this is the toilet in here. Click on this mixture species. Um, so add air, remove N2, carbon dioxide, oxygen. C7H8 okay then density is in uh, volume weighted mixing law what I've taken change create and here we need to on the energy also so just on the energy okay the viscosity it is a laminar flow what we are taking okay again once go to the mixture so here we need to give the thermal conductivity that we are trying to give us a mass weighted mixing law and the viscosity is also mass weighted mixing law right i uh, will change the name here to vapor hyphen air okay change create yes close it go to user defined try to browse the udf where it is located which has a saturation temperature adjust udf and the contact profile everything so it will take some time and after that go to function hooks and then just add this adjust function okay okay then go to volume of fluid phases first phase is vapor air and select vapor air and the secondary phase is water liquid let's say water select water liquid click on apply go to phase interactions and the surface tension is 0 0.072 go to surface tension modeling validation apply right and number of mass transfer mechanisms sorry just click on this water to vapor air species and in the evaporation condensation it's a lee model from frequency i'm giving as four and here I'm giving the user defined as saturation temperature. Okay. Apply. Close. So it is showing some warning here. So the warning is that I have given axis as type axis, but in the 2D planner for it cannot be axis, it is symmetry. So now we will not get a uh, warning anymore. We have used some of the user defined memory, so I'm just increasing the value so that we can use it and go to the wall and in the wall the contact angle is given through the udf click apply and the temperature of the wall is 370 kelvin what we have taken in our simulation apply close and in the outlet is a pressure outlet which has the thermal or the temperature condition as 340 kelvin apply close and in the momentum source we need to remove the cells which are adjacent to the drop where it is impinging onto the plate need to remove its momentum and its momentum term so that I have given here so in positive direction or when the velocity is increasing it tries to remove the energy or when the velocity is going in the other way it tries to act in the reverse way click apply close now after that I will try to initialize 
So before doing any initialization, try to save this. So if there are any errors in the initialization, then will not uh, this will not throw any error. Uh, it will not close. The window will not close. That is our point. So I am taking as 3514 as my gauge pressure and the temperature of the surrounding is 340 and the air fraction uh, water vapor fraction is 0 0.017 now i'll write initialize and try to go to patch then pass the temperature sorry after this you need to go to domain you need to create uh, uh, the water uh, surface or the water uh, droplet go to region i'm selecting a circle and uh, center as 0 0.0125 and the radius as 0 0.0025 maybe you can just check how exactly it is yeah here you can see half of the droplet that will be sufficient for us for our simulation close this now go to patch uh, patch uh, the region of this with uh, 320 kelvin patch it and uh, patch the water fraction of this region 0 with 1 now oh, patch it and just go to run calculation and I'll to my experience so I'm giving this uh, time step as uh, 0 0.5035 the number of time steps yes so meanwhile I'll just show you after initialization how you are getting all the stuff so just go to faces and check how the water has been patched yes you can see here the water has been patched it's proper yes now we can go to run calculation and before that uh, if you want to check the animation for each and uh, for every 500 or maybe 200 time steps click on counter one okay then now try to run on calculate and yeah apart from that we can also activate other counter which is the mass transfer so phase interaction the mass transfer compute display now it is zero but as we go on so there will be mass transfer that will be occurring at the interface between water and the air so now i'll just try to act with other animation also for this counter too for every 200 time steps okay now and maybe i'll take the other one which is velocity also how the velocity is getting varied uh, with respect to the time step now it is initially zero now go to the solution animation click on counter 3 200 okay now i'll try to run on clarity so guys after running through three time steps uh, you can see on the screen uh, how the counters look like uh, so that is uh, vapor transfer or sorry vapor and this gives the mass transfer rate you can see the mass transfer rate here which is uh, around that uh, drop and after that maybe you can see the velocities how they are so velocities yeah it is uh, much zig -zag, the velocities are and uh, uh, for our convenience i have also recorded uh, uh, the videos so you can just check these videos also uh, yeah so these are the videos what i have recorded so this is a drop how it is falling and how it is retrieving back right uh, similarly i can show you this is the mass transfer rate so it was just happening only around the drop right similarly this is the velocity animation video so velocity is how we are changing with respect to the drop falling onto the heated wall so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon, please. Thank you.